Good morning, sunshines. Welcome back to my channel. Ruby says good morning too. She's been playing with her catnip toy. It's that one. Makes her go crazy. Max says, I'm a grump and I don't like playing with Ruby. <laughs> Off to adventure on the patio. Does she know I'm watching? Today's outfit of the day. I have Gymshark, this is like their training crop top, I think it's called. I really like the cut of it. I think it's really flattering and it makes your waist look like tiny. These are the 7 8 pants, so I'm 5'1 and they are shorter. I know people are into that, so I get that question a lot. And now Gymshark has provided. We thank you, Shark. Did Jim, Jim Shark, whatever. And then these shoes are, where are these from? I, they're Adidas. I believe I got them at Urban Outfitters. I just kind of like chunky random shoes. So I'm rolling with it. Huzzah. Okay, I am in my little mini gym. I'm gonna do, yeah, a few exercises. It's just easier to record at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and record this one. And that's it. And then I think we're gonna go to Trader Joe's because I found all these recipes that I wanna try. And I think they're gonna be really tasty. I'm in, obsessed with my kitchen. I also just got these new pots. Very obsessed with them. I'll show you them when we get to the kitchen. <laughs> For now, let's do the workout. I don't want my workout to be bad because I'm thinking about recording it, so I'm just gonna kind of record bits and pieces. It's just an experiment because I've just been getting really good workouts the last few days because I have not recorded them. So in that case, I'm just gonna like do blurbs from it because I don't wanna, you know, think about the recording itself too much because I think that kind of messes with my head. Anyway, a little rant, but. <laughs> finished my errands for the day and stuff. So now I thought I would show you these beautiful, beautiful pots and pans I just got. Why I'm so excited about pots and pans, I don't even know, but I'm gonna show you. We'll unbox them together. If I remember, I'll link them down below. But I got these on Amazon, because that's where I get everything. Oh gosh, can you imagine if they gave me the wrong color? I didn't even realize there were other colors. Please be the right color. Okay, no, it is, it is, it's for sure. So, 13 pieces. These are called Cook Lover. Oh wow, look at the boxing. I feel like I've got like a, I have hit fun box or something, huh? All right, woo! I have been <gasps> spilling everything constantly because that is my goal in life. So, these are like speckled, right? There's so much, this packaging is intense. Okay, let me unwrap it and then I'll show you because they're kind of intense. These are so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so there's two, I think these are called frying pans? I don't know, something like that. This one's square, and then this one is round. But I just love the speckle on them. I like the base that you put on the stove, you know? I find that mine on my current pots and pans gets like scratched up. It's not like a different surface than the rest of the pan, I guess, if that makes sense. So those are very nice. This is not sponsored at all, by the way. I just like these pans. And, okay, so these lids, I thought at first that they were like put together incorrectly because I was like, why are they like this? Because they say cook lover something of kitchen. I don't know what it says, but it says something right here. So if you put it on, it looks like it's upside down, but then I realized that it's like that. So like maybe you could put them away easier in your in your pan, in your cabinets, you know? And I think that's kind of cute because then you could stack them and stuff if you need it. And then they have these very cute little handles. It looks like wood. It's not wood, but it looks like wood. Uh, this is a little saucepan it comes with. And then it came with these two pots as well. So we have one larger one, which I've been needing one like this for my pasta because I make pasta at least once a week. Um, so it has its own little lid. Adorable, I love this speckle. It's just so precious. And then a bare one to cook bigger things. Look at that, look at this beautiful guy. Aren't they great? So yeah, those are my uh, new and improved pot sets. I'm gonna keep my yellow ones as well, but sometimes I actually just, I've been cooking so often, I'll run out of like pans, especially if you want one pot for one vegetable, one pot for something else, and you wanna use multiple pots, sometimes that's nice to do. It also came with these three things. I didn't really desperately need these, but it came with them and I'm not mad about it. I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I haven't cooked with them yet, obviously, so I mean, I'm hoping that they work well in the kitchen, but so far, so good. Okay, so it also came with these thingies. I don't really know what they are, they're rubber, and my hypothesis is that 
you can put your thing on there like this, you know, so it's not getting sauce everywhere, but then it would still drip off the side. So I'm not sure if that's what it's for, but it kind of looks like that's what it's for. And that's kind of cool. Unless it, I don't know what else it would do. And while we're over here, these are on the counter because I've been eating them every day. But I, Alani just sent me these gummies. Oh, I am so for vitamins being in gummy form because I hate taking pills so much, especially vitamin pills because they'll be so big and chalky. And they're not fun to take. So these immunity gummies, vitamin C, vitamin D, elderberry, delicious also, very important. And then beauty gummies, which are gonna have your collagen, hydrolonic acid, pineapple ceramides. Love that for us. Love gummies. I do have an Alani link down below. Max, are you being nice to Ruby? You being sweet, Maxie? You a good boy? I try to encourage him with like positive reinforcement, just like, don't hiss at her, good. <laughs> sunshines another day in paradise okay so today I'm about to go downstairs and practice my handstands again which I've been documenting on Instagram for funsies but I want to show you my outfit because it's cute and I'm wearing like this scrunchie thing it's a silk scrunchie and I think hopefully that pulls out less of my hair you know and I like wearing really high ponies so especially for this because I don't want anything in my way <laughs> so this is the new vital seamless set they do have shorts coming though I know the shorts aren't coming till a little bit later yeah, these will be out soon. So this is one of the colors. It's just like a very normal gray. Power in the pose, right? Okay, so I'm practicing hands, hands, minding my own business. When out of the blue, like my left hand starts going numb, uh, which is, you know, not normal. Um, it's like my thumb, my index finger, my ring, the very tip of my ring, but more so like this and like all of my thumb. And so I kind of panicked and then I Googled and it was like, you have carpal tunnel syndrome. And I'm like, what, why? <laughs> I've only been practicing for three days. <laughs> Turns out like maybe that could be just from not um, like warming up my wrists properly before uh, I started just flinging myself up upside down a million times. So um, yeah, so now I'm going to warm up her wrists. So I looked it up and so now I'm just gonna show you some things and I'm gonna keep these in mind for the next time that I'm practicing, aka probably tomorrow. My shoulders are so sore after this, no lie. So I was looking up and he said, put your arms out and then you like bring your wrist down and have like, and it even feels weird for me to do this. So I feel like definitely something that I need to stretch on. <laughs> when I do that, I feel a lot of tension like up the bottom of my forearm, like a lot of tension. So I think this is a good thing to do. This one, which I call grab the booby. Cause it's just it's like to me. And then again, this up. This one, which I call Rusa. Oh, this is very painful. It's definitely where it's coming from. Ah! Those are some key movements for you. You're welcome. Next steps, now that we've done the extended, we did wrist down, wrist up. You have to flip your arms around do towards you and away from you. This also, I feel like, would be good for people that like work at a desk or something. Arm towards you, and then you're kind of gonna do the same kind of motion. This one's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And you did this up. Ooh, that hurts too. Okay, cool. Okay, next one we're gonna try. I'm gonna put palms up and then rotate your wrist towards you. And then he was doing like this. I remember because it looked like a sassy lady. And you're like, thanks. Sassy lady gripping. Got it? Following along? Now we're better. We're begging. Please, please, sir. Can I have some more? Uh, all right, I've low-key been on like a cooking machine period lately, honestly. But I just want to let you guys know that I discovered what these were for through a brilliant trial and error method. So funny story, these pots, yeah, this isn't plastic, so this part gets hot. And I may or may not have burned my hands because I'm dumb. So these fit perfectly upon it and you can gift. Isn't that cute? So that's what they're for. Mystery solved. Only my hands. We're had to ahead. suffer for that knowledge. Okay, so now I made some pasta earlier. I could not find my camera at the time. I had left it downstairs and I was very hungry. But now I baked a cake from scratch. I baked a cake from scratch. Who even am I anymore? I don't know. 2020 has just been very cool. 
chill for me. I've been practicing handstands all day. My shoulders are, and wrists are very tired, but I don't want to stop. I want to practice more because it's fun. And yeah, uh, my cake in the oven. Better bake from scratch. Also made the frosting from scratch. Don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I have high hopes. The batter looked beautiful. Actually, I'm just gonna turn it on. So Ruin it? Oh, look how. I threw chocolate chips on top like halfway through, so they'd just like be there. I don't know. Sounded like a good idea. And yeah, it's well on its way. Almost ready. Woo! So for the frosting though, I didn't have um, some of the ingredients like powdered sugar, so I used brown sugar instead. So it's a very odd consistency, but hopefully still works as a frosting because it tastes delicious. But so much sugar goes into real cake, guys. My goal is to kind of figure out how to cook. I'm trying to discover how to like bake and cook using normal ingredients that might not be that might be more calorie dense or just like not as good for you. And then I'm gonna slowly like try to swap in more nutritional like ingredients and stuff to see if I can make things taste really good still. So it's a living and learning process, but I think here I'm almost 30 and I should probably start learning how to cook. So, so far so good. Okay, so my recipe told me to put it in parchment paper in the pan, which I've never done before, so it's kind of made some ugliness on the outsides, and I smushed this bit entirely. But look how fudgy it looks. It's fine. We're just gonna roll with it, and I gotta let that cool. I'm scared to take it off the parchment paper right now, so I'm just gonna chill with it. And then, yeah, I'll frost it once it's cooled a lot. She's gorgeous. Okay, I'm just like taste testing right now. First of all, it doesn't even need frosting. This is by far the most delicious cake I've ever had, ever. That's all nice. Oh my god. And also, every time I get cake batter, I feel like there's not enough batter, you know? Or right. a cake mixed in a box. And this, I kept adding it and I was like, this is so much, they're, like the amount of ingredients, it's so much liquid. I thought it was gonna be crazy and overflow, but it's perfect. I was gonna cut off the edges to make it like perfect looking. And then I had to taste test it to make sure. <laughs> Thank you. 